love this. Thank you for coming in. The power of social media. This is when social media is great, right? Good people making the wish of a little boy come true all showed up and made it happen. They transformed San Francisco into Gotham City. The whole world was watching, and now there's a new documentary. Bat kid, Bat kid Begins, right? Five-year-old Miles Scott, a boy who was fighting leukemia since he was 18 months old. His wish was granted, and the whole country, the whole world really got to experience it. He wanted to become Batman for the day, and that's what happened. The police chief says there's trouble. You better get dressed. Did you practice? Did you practice some acrobat training yesterday? Good. You'll need it. Oh, that is fantastic. You want to take this shirt off? You're starting to look like Batman. It was funny because once he put on the costume, it was like, he just did this. He's just like, wow. And then as soon as he looked out and he saw the penguin with Lucille, he started to rev up and he hit me on the arm and said, we have to go. Well, this thing, it kind of took over, basically. Oh, it, you know, it really all over did. the country, if you live in San Francisco, you couldn't get the news that day because that's uh -huh. uh, all that was covered. <laughs> all right, joining us right now is Dana Nachman. She's the uh, director and producer of Bat Kid Begins. Patricia Wilson is here from Make-A-Wish Foundation. It's, the whole thing was a Make-A-Wish deal. And this character sitting at the this end. Mike, <laughs> Mike Juton. Am I saying it right? A Jutan, yes. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Mike Jutan. Jutan. <laughs> Michelle AKA Jutan. AKA Penguin. Yeah. <laughs> you, you played Penguin in that. You saw Penguin in, uh, in the car. Uh, welcome to all of you. Thanks for having Thank us. You. We started reporting on this thing like it was a cute little story. Mm -hmm. And then suddenly it just took over. Took over. What was going on? Well, um, I'm going to defer to Patricia because I wasn't even there. You came in later with the camera Yeah, I afterwards. missed the entire thing. I was not one of the two billion people who followed it online. I missed it. You weren't one Very of the two billion people. I don't even want to talk What's about it. What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> no, Patricia. She's redeemed herself. Yeah. Yeah. You deal with Make-A-Wish. She make was a in wish. an edit bay and, and, yeah, just, and uh, edit bay uh, the world didn't exist. Yeah. Uh, Patricia, you deal with Make-A-Wish Foundation. Um, you get, wish, what, 390 wishes a year. That's just my chapter. That's just California. your chapter alone. Yep. So you get this one wish. And uh, you have no idea the scale, the impact it's going to have on the entire country. Well, that's crazy, right? Yeah. <laughs> so when we go about doing a wish, we're focused on the child and their family and their medical team. And um, in this case, you know, he wanted to be the real Batman. So it was kind of game on. <laughs> <laughs> and then you read, I'm a mom, I have two healthy yeah. children, and you read that he was diagnosed at 18 months old with leukemia. And I don't know what that would be like to hear that. So you're already emotionally motivated and emotionally involved, and so you try to figure out what does that look like to be the real Batman. And I was headed home from work one night, and the fog was rolling in, and I thought, you know, the skyline looks pretty cool. It looks like Gotham. Gotham. Yeah, I, could, I could turn San Francisco into Gotham. So how'd you get a hold of him? Uh, so <laughs> there you so are. There you are. <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. There you are. Uh, <laughs> boo. Um, <laughs> so EJ, the guy who played Batman, is a, is a close colleague. Uh, worked at Lucasfilm together for many, many years. Uh -huh. And uh, him and his wife Sue played the damsel in distress. Uh, they came over uh, to a barbecue at my apartment in San Francisco and just said, "What are you doing November fifteenth? Just say yes." Aww. And that's kind of a sort of epitomizes this thing because I just said yes before I knew what it was, yeah. how big it was going to be, any of the details. Well, wait a minute. You put it all over social media, and Dana says you're responsible for <laughs> the Apparently huge turnout. Apparently, it's at least partially my fault. <laughs> right? It is, because yeah. you were estimating, Dana, I think you said in an earlier yeah, interview, I mean 200, 200 people were yeah. going to show up, and right. 25,000 people came. Well, right. also, yeah, the mayor and the police chief. Yeah, everyone was on board. Yeah. Came out. Yeah, uh, and and said, suddenly it happened. Yes. It, it caught that wave around the world. Yeah. And, you know, most of the things that get caught on are always Stupid and nasty things. Yeah. Yes, this, yeah. this was a nice thing. Yeah. <laughs> stupid and nasty. Everyone that's true. wanted yeah, to be involved in this, yeah. and you've gone around interviewing everyone who was involved in this, yes. Dana, including the Uber driver. Oh yeah, that's my favorite. Thanks for. Uh, I was obsessed <laughs> with finding the Uber driver, which was not easy, <laughs> but then finally I found him. Oh yeah, my it was amazing. He, I, I, he rescued me. A, a question for you, because this certainly was a feel-good, incredible moment. Mm -hmm. But then you ask, all right, that was a moment in time. Now it's now. What has it affected? For instance, with Make-A-Wish, what's changed? So there was an increase in donations in November, December internationally. We have a, my chapter alone has a 40% increase in wish requests. Mm -hmm. um, so I do regret I didn't have him really rob a bank. 
<laughs> oh. I think we could have gotten away with it. Um, but what we are seeing is this this uh, involvement piece and this engagement piece and how to use social media to engage people in a way that's not fundraising. It's yes. involving them in mission and people just, we just so ask you're, them You to can be actually be proactive and you could be thousands of miles yeah, away. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Right. Wonderful. That kid begins, opens in select theaters, June 26. And Thank I know we all. have to go, but real quick, yeah. how's Miles doing? Miles is in remission. He just yeah. finished sixth grade. He first lost grade. his first first grade. <laughs> <laughs> he lost his first tooth. He's, he's and the interesting thing Aww. is, when he's 82, people will say to him, "You're the bad kid." Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. and maybe he'll understand what happened then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank uh, you for coming thanks in. Thank you all. Thank you.